birthday drunk, and I went 0-2. Oh, let's go, dude. It's great. I'm doing that right now. This is the winner's finals of Pool A1. I'm really going to be excited to watch this just because Wolf versus Falco is a super explosive matchup. Yeah, dude, it's the best space versus the worst spacey. Arguably, the worst spacey is, uh, is Wolf. What? Some, pe some people, I've heard some people say, okay. Wolf is bad. They are objectively wrong. Exactly, but over here we can see Nightfox already losing his jump and eating so much damage. That's the thing, because Falco's just really good at scouting your jumps and especially just taking them away with all his, you know, cutscene combos. And already 99 on the board for Nexus to retaliate after that 69%. Nightbox trying to make his comeback. Ooh, up smash. Not gonna quite do it. Needs a little bit more percent, maybe a little bit more rage. Doing his best to hold center stage. Not trying to get. Oh. Well, he's trying to set up for that uh, back for that back air, yeah. And then another back air. No, he's he's trying to condition him to make him jump. And then once he doesn't jump, it's like, okay, boom, get hit. Oh, tries to catch him back dashing with the wolf flash, but nothing just yet. Oh, no punish. Definitely just got called for my next round, which is unfortunate. But don't worry, homie. I got you. Thanks, yeah, man. Don't worry, don't worry. Anyways, I, I can handle solo comments. Don't worry about it. Go. Good luck. Oh, okay, okay. Bye. Good luck to uh, Nightfox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Nightfox coming over there. He gets hit with the up air, living at 170%. Oh, shoot. 177 right now. So the problem with Falco is he can't kill sometimes. He has to hit him with a raw down tilt, which is relatively slow, or like maybe a back air even, and that's again really hard. But the forward air out of shield, fantastic job from Nexus, cleaning up that sock. But 125%, he could be blown up with a raw up smash, or some type of down smash conversion at the ledge. Or possibly a back air. Really good side B, no lag because he, uh, he did that in the air. And Nexus trying to go for the drag down. Nothing just yet, but great dash attack coming out from Nightfox to clean up that stock. Two stocks apiece, Nightfox a little bit down, but gets started with the grab down throw dash attack and tries to tech chase, gets the pick up with the Nair and no double jump I think from Nexus. Nope, use double jump, retaliates with a down smash at 100%. Is he gonna try to two frame? Tries to go for the two frame, nothing just yet. And now we're back to neutral. Both players kind of again, feeling each other out. Lasers here and there. Falco Illusion's coming out to try to uh, try to catch him in neutral. But again, it's really hard to punish. And wow, no tech into dash attack. Fantastic job from Nightfox picking up another stock. Up throw up air. Again, just tacking on so much damage, trying to get him and actually up smash out of shield. Not doing it. 125. But great job at runoff down air. Nightfox has been recovering way too much uh, uh, with a um, with the side B. Oh, you should be really careful jumping out of shield just because if you not if you're not careful jumping out of shield, you're gonna get up tilted out of shield and it's gonna hurt so much. Down tilt into up tilt, nothing not connecting just because of that fantastic air dodge from Nightbox. And both players feeling each other out. Fantastic job punishing the Falco Illusion with the left tilt. He's got him center stage. And both characters trading. Tries to read the tech in place, but gets hit out with another jump. Again, this is really scary. Once one of the characters has advantage, it's gonna do so much damage. Nair not gonna be doing it just yet, 100%. Is this gonna be a kill with an up tilt back air? No, just raw back air. Trades with up tilt. And now Nightfox is up 1-0 against Nexus. You see it here today, folks. You have to be uh, really, really careful on uh, pressing buttons. Use your, remember to use your shield button. But pressing buttons, you can die from that. Exactly. You'll get counter hit, and you know sometimes you won't, don't won't want to take that trade. A character that likes to take that trade would be like Game and Watch, whereas a character that doesn't like to take trades would be like light characters like Pichu. You know? Yeah. Falco being one of those lighter type characters. But well, what do you think about this matchup? Uh, I think. Cool. Uh, who won the last game? Nightfox. 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 Yeah. So. Oh wow, already getting the platform conversions. That's what I really like about this counter stage for multi-hit characters, just because it's a lot easier to hit your conversions and to hit drag down with these lower-ish platforms that are able to help you, you know, uh, short hop. Tries to shield to try to bait an up smash out of shield, but nothing just yet. 
reads the air dodge and up air is nothing just yet, though. Tries to read him with the side B. And now next is upstage. Ooh, sour spot back air, nothing just yet. And gonna try to two frame? Yes, he gets the two frame. He's been practicing, practicing that every single day of his life. Oh, that's a really nice conversion, too. Yeah, yeah. So, oh my god, this is like pretty good. But like, Falco just does, does like no damage. You know, like. I feel like Falco does a lot of damage in, in, in a bunch of strings, but if you know how to get out of every, like, all those strings, it's just kind of like 50 50 on which one he's going to be doing, and then you're just able to get out of it. That's why he's like both a good character and a bad character, because he could zero to death you, or he could just not kill you until 200. He, he, he has like pretty bad Martharitis in this game. Yeah, I was gonna say that it reminds me very much of Martharitis. Oh wow, and just opting to go all the way over there. Oh, misses with the up smash out of shield, being a little bit too ballsy, but an up smash of Nightbox on his own picks him up with the up tilt. The, the thing is, once you're on the platform, you basically let the other player play the game and just throw out any other moves. It's, it's really good. Yeah. The, the platform, like, being on platform is just, like, not good at all. And he realizes it tries to put him on the platform with the up throw up air, but misses his conversion, eats a back air for that. Fantastic spot dodge for Nexus, and this is going to be a lot of damage. 31, just attacking it on even more. More up tilts coming out. This is, this is kind of what I mean by, yeah, Falco is really good at counter hitting, but the thing is, if you're able to box out Falco, or if you're able to outrange him, then he actually can't do anything. Or like rush him down better, you know? Oh, catches him with the up tilt. He's just gonna anti air with that. Don't try to don't try to jump again. Yeah, that up tilt's so good. He just he's just really looking for it, but misses that conversion. Up throw, nothing just yet. Almost catches him with the back air. I'm pretty sure that would have um, been really close to killing. Oh, and fantastic fade back from Nightbox, and now he's on center stage. Gets hit by a, uh, a scramble situation, and almost hits him with the back air, but again, up smash picking it up. Now Nexus tying it up 1-1. So, when, when I sit here and watch this game, I'm not, I'm not gonna claim to be the, the expert of Ultimate, but when I sit here and watch this game, um, I, I see like a lot, <laughs> I see a lot of, um, like I, I think that there's more opportunities for uh, Wolf to be punishing uh, Falco, and uh, especially like on off stage. But I'm not sure how Falco fares like as far as like horizontal recovers, because like he has a side B with like the flash, and then he has like his also his up B. But I feel like that's like very punishable, is it not? Uh, for Wolf or Falco? Uh, for Falco's side, for, like Falco's like recovery. Falco's recovery is supposed to be uh, you, in my opinion. The easiest way to do everything in this game for against Falco is just do rising nair or rising aerial. Because if you if you get spiked, if if you mistime it, you're still on stage and you can punish him. But if you hit him, that means you just rinse and repeat over and over again until he messes up and dies. You know? Because it covers everything from uh, fire uh, from illusion, air dodge, and firebird. But if you like condition them to then firebird, you're just able to kill him. But wow, that's a sour spot back air and now. Nexus being really, really into it. I think Nightbox has a uh, Twitter also, by the way. Yeah, I couldn't find it. You know what it is? Let me Here. find it with us. I got you. But yeah, take over Kong while I do this. All right, so Wolf boxing out. Falco, Falco trying to regain stage control. Looks like he has. Ooh, gets a nice combo off of that. Kill Wolf. Awesome. I'll type that in real quick. Yeah, and now, wow. Both players going back and forth right now. Almost catches him with uh, another move, but again, trades. As as Falco, you do not want to be the the trader. You have to be very set on you know getting clean hits. But Nexus is turning it up right now, getting all the down throw nair conversions, and almost catches him with uh, something. But he tries to condition him. Maybe maybe that was a forward smash ledge trap on on ledge. But again, fantastic up tilt back air, and that should be it. Nothing just yet. Oh, almost catches him with the back air. And actually up smashes out of shield because he couldn't 
get on the get in the air in time. I feel like a lot of the times in this game, you know what you want to do and you want to do it, but you're just so fast on doing it that it just doesn't come out. And then you just look, you know, like you didn't do it. But wow, up smash to catch the double jump. Good job on Nexus. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're fighting for some more here on the Nexus. Use the flaps. Oh, he does, does have a double jump. Oh, he's, he's just going to string on oh. Exactly. Wow, it's a spot dodge. But yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, if you don't know how to deal with the multi-hit nares and stuff, you're you're going to get kind of rocked by Falco. Oh, tries to anti-air him, but 69%, the magical number. Tries to two-frame him, but again, that's pulling up a lot more than... Uh, Biting off a lot more than he could chew. Don't try to land on him after he lands on the ground and does nothing, because he's going to strike for that up smash like he does for the past few games. Oh, almost gets to the two frame. Oh, yeah. Next is applying a bunch of field pump there right now. He's going to get a smash. Oh, man. That should be it back here. Yeah. But Falco illusion into instant turnaround back here. That's why he's been fishing for the for like the majority of the game. It's really, really good just as a kill confirm. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty strong. Uh let's see what we're gonna get next on 